your backyard my YouTube channel where I talk about all kinds of edible things and landscaping and what's going on in my backyard I like to grow edible cool subtropical things so here's one of them this is a edible thornless pad cactus got a bunch of them so easy to grow how do you grow one you might ask well you just find a piece of it and you snap it off at the junction or not but that's easiest best result. Any one of these pads buried half deep in dirt, water it, you're done. This one, you know, fell over. I'm going to let it grow because each one of these will grow up its own. I'm going to make a little cactus shrub here. I'm going to trim it tight, but anyway, I have a vision for it. And this one, I'm going to go tree form. So I have one stalk. I'll trim off all these little things here over time, but I'll make that a woody. See, it's already getting woody. Already getting woody. That's what I want. Lean right there into that corner and it'll grow a nice little beautiful tree for him. You see that's classic like cartoon style cactus. Uh, these are also edible. Delicious edible and I mean they taste like a cucumber so the light green little new growth ones those are the ones you eat in my opinion. Uh, threw one there. have a couple others in the yard but that one against this fence. It fell over also. It fell over in the same wind event I think but I'm not really worried about it. I don't really I look at it like a vegetable. So I'm gonna, I'll take this whole thing off here. That's all gonna go. I'll just leave that, and then this one will start growing up again quite nicely. Look at that. Sometimes I call these the uh, Disney World cactus because a lot of times it'll grow like two ears, like a mouse. Being in Florida, every, you know, that's a point of reference. This gives you an idea of that idea. But uh, certainly a lot of the cuttings you get are like that. There's one. Like, look, it looks like a Mickey Mouse looking down the dirt. So yeah, the hornless cactus, given many cuttings of this away, that's another fun thing to do, to give somebody a cutting of this. You know, they can eat it, they can use it, it's very useful, it's very easy to contain, it doesn't have any of the irritating qualities cactuses, in my opinion, which are the thorns, the pain inflicted. So, yeah, that's it. Go ahead and grow yourself a thornless pad cactus. I mean, I've had other cactuses, I gotta say, at the end of the day, I didn't like it. They ended up all ripping me open in some way. So not the, they get big outside in Florida, <laughs> real big. So that's all I have to say about cactuses. Hey, if you like this kind of thing, go ahead and subscribe to Eat Your Backyard, and then you'll be notified every single time that there's a notification. Yeah, technology. And uh, I look forward to it. Thanks for watching Eat Your Backyard.